Hey guys, it's Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipops Tarot. I'm bringing you a quick read today about the person on your mind. Um, I'm just going to kind of randomly draw cards and ask questions as they come up versus going through like my thoughts, worries, fears, blockages, actions. Um, so this is going to be a little bit different, um, but let's get some cards about the person on your mind. We are going to start off with what your person is thinking. Um, just keep in mind, this is a read for the collective. So take what resonates and leave the rest. Okay. So, oh my gosh, guys, your person is thinking about the 10 of pentacles with you. This is stability. This is a marriage. This is commitment. This is often a blended family. Um, this is financial stability, emotional stability. This is husband, wife, children, dog. Like this is uh, the happy family. This is love. This is um, commitment. This is grounded. This is loyalty. This is what your person's thinking about you, um, what they want with you, what they see happening with you. That's a phenomenal, phenomenal thought, right? Um, let's see what else your person is thinking about you. Heartbreak, and sadness, loss, six of swords, and the four of pentacles. Oh gosh, you guys, I feel like you have history with this person. I feel like there was definitely a breakup between the two of you um, or a situation in which there was sadness, grief, and loss. I mean, it could have been a situation that didn't get off the ground, but um, I feel like, uh, I feel like, I almost feel like they caused sadness, grief, and loss um, towards you, and I think they they, they moved on to calmer waters um, because of the situation, or you moved, you moved on to calmer waters, I guess. Actually, I think this is what they did to you, to be truly honest with you, so I feel like they caused some heartbreak. They caused you to move away from them and move on to calmer waters. Um, and they know that you are extremely guarded now. Like, so your heart is extremely guarded um, and you kind of are keeping things shut out or that's what they fear is going to be happening. Um, this could potentially be a situation that they didn't cause that you were just dealing with. But I feel like, I feel like they caused this situation or that um, this was definitely heartbreak, loss, from a situation between the two of you. Mm. Yeah, they see you as sad. They see you as guarded. Yeah, I feel like previously the situation, they could have very well have been juggling you with somebody else. Um, I feel like... Uh, Oh gosh, guys, I feel like they were definitely in a third party situation. Um, I feel like it's a situation you were unaware of. I feel like they were telling you one thing and doing another. Um, I do think they are wanting to come back um, into this three of cups energy. I feel like they feel like you are a soulmate to them. They feel soul connected to you. They have true love for you. I do think they realize they really kind of screwed up. They're wanting to give an equal give and take with the six of pentacles. They want the situation to be a balanced situation between the two of you. I feel like you guys were friends prior to being in a relationship um, with this three of cups energy to me. Like the two of cups is true love, marriage, soulmate energy. The three of cups to me is like a level up from that. In addition to all that is also a really solid friendship. So I feel like they're either hoping that they can get back to this level with you. They want to show you that it will be an equal give and take. They know they weren't doing right by you previously. Hmm. 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 What are they going to do? Uh, what actions are they going to take towards you? Ace of Swords. The Empress. The Death card. Ooh, the Emperor on the bottom of the deck, guys. I feel like, um, you know what, you, I feel like they really have done some growing. I feel like your person, I mean, we have the emperor, the empress, the death card and the ace of wand or ace of swords. I feel like, um, your person is going to really discuss with you, um, this transformation that they've been going through. I feel like, um, they have changed completely from the person that they used to be, uh, and they're coming back around to present you with a much better version of themselves. I feel like that transformation was like mentally and emotionally and maturity wise. I feel like they've kind of grown leaps and bounds. I feel like in the past they may have shown up as in like a page energy, but now they're coming back as the freaking emperor. 
um, or empress, whichever whichever role you designate is, is whatever. But um, I feel like, guys, they have so much clarity on this situation on how severely they screwed up. Um, I feel like I feel like your energy is forgiving, um, but we're going to clarify that in a second. But I feel like your person wants to take action. They want to speak their truth. They want to clear the air. They've got clarity in their mind. They want to explain to you this transformation uh, that they're making. I feel like they want a new start, a new life, a rebirth with you. Um, they definitely... <laughs> Well, your, their actions is coming up as the emperor and the empress. Like, they definitely feel like you guys are divine counterparts. I feel like you probably know that, too. Um, they definitely feel this intense connection between you each other. This is abundance. This is um, a protector. This is a provider. This is a caretaker. This is a nurturer. This is, like, a completely, like amazing connection between the two of you and I think your person's going to be explaining all that to you right I feel like um they're going to really kind of put everything out there I I feel like they're honestly going to kind of man up so to speak and and um explain all the stuff that they had done wrong in the past um I think they're going to give you every answer you're seeking and I think they're going to really do whatever it takes to kind of clear the air to get back to this friendship love relationship um, with the Six of Pentacles that is extremely balanced. How are you going to react to this situation? How are you going to react? The Moon card, the Sun, the King of Cups. You guys, um, the freaking Queen of Wands. You guys, um, you're going to be good with this situation. The Sun and the Moon are like another divine pair to me. So we have the Emperor and the Empress, the Sun and the freaking Moon. You guys, you're going to be, I feel like you're not expecting this, honestly. I feel like, uh, and we also have, this is interesting too. So we have the Queen of Wands, which is a fire sign, and the King of Cups, which is a water sign. And then we have the Sun, which is a fire sign, and the Moon, which is a fire sign. I mean, a water sign. So they kind of parallel. But, um... I'm sorry. I kind of lost my train of thought. Like, how are you, how are you going to respond? I feel like this is a situation that's going to uh, really kind of shock you. On the bottom of the deck before I asked this question was the tower. I kind of feel like this is going to be a tower moment. Your person's going to come and tell you everything that you need to know. They're going to be clearing all their secrets. They're going to be explaining the situation. They're going to be taking ownership and responsibility. There's going to be no more illusions. It's going to be all all truthful. It's going to be raw exposure. This person's going to tell you everything you need to know to kind of move forward in this situation. Um, I feel like this, this is um, something you dream about perhaps, something you have in your like subconscious um, that you feel like is going to come back to you. I, I think this is something you've been waiting for, whether it's subconsciously or consciously for a very long time. I think this is going to bring you so much joy and happiness. I feel like this is a positive situation. This is optimism. This is like just a rebirth, like joyous rebirth of a situation. I feel like whatever happened in the past, I'm not 100% sure, guys. You know, I feel like um, I feel like they were responsible for part of the situation. It's possible you were as well. I don't know. But I think them coming back, them being open, them expressing to you how they're feeling is going to just open up this extremely positive situation for you. And you guys, oh my gosh, so much love, so much passion, so much intense chemistry, so much um, spark. Uh, this is just amazing. This is true love. This is compassion. This is empathy. This is sympathy. This is someone in love with you you're in love with them you have so much passion for this person so much intense chemistry this is love this is passion this is i think it's everything you wanted um i think it's everything that you wanted um let me ask this um well actually i'm not going to because i feel like i was going to ask is this something you can bounce back from but i really feel like whatever happened in the past you know what that's what i'm going to do I'm going to get a couple cards to clarify that heartbreak. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. 
Okay, so I feel like we have the Hermit, the Seven of Cups, and the Knight of Swords. So to come to clarify like that heartbreak and that Six of Swords energy, I feel like your person had multiple options. Um, and I think they made decisions and rushed forward without really thinking, um, but it kind of threw them in this Hermit position um, where they should have been more patient and not just rush forward because I think they lost you in the process and that's not what they wanted to do. Um, all right, so you're gonna react greatly. So give me the overall outcome, the magician, the hangman, the knight of cups, the five of cups, and the ten of swords. Yeah, I feel like this um, sadness is over. I feel like this this being feeling like you've been left out in the cold is over. Um, that cycle is ended. Put a fork in it. You're moving forward. Um, I think you're moving forward with this person. I think this is like I said before. You were in this healing mode, right? Um, trying to work on yourself, letting go, letting God, um, getting this spiritual closure, um, and manifesting this person back into your life. And they're coming with huge love offers, guys. They're coming in on this white horse. They're coming in with the roses. They're coming in with the love letter, the wine, the picnic. But this person isn't just coming in as a knight. Um, this is a true love situation. They're coming in as your emperor or your empress, guys. So I feel like um, the outcome is going to be everything you've manifested, everything that you've wanted, everything that you put out in the universe. A true love situation, soulmate situation. What you think, what you want, what you're wishing for is all coming to fruition, guys, with this person. The waiting period is over. That's what I feel like. The waiting period is over. Actually, let me um, let me get a card on the timing. I mean, we can't be too solid with timing and tarot, but let me get a card on the timing. The King of Pentacles. I feel like this is <clears throat> a sitch of the fool. I feel like this is a situation. Oh my gosh. I'm going to put those back. Um, that's been... What in the heck is happening? That's been taking a long time um, to come back around. I feel like um, it's going to like jump off. Like once you guys come back together, it's, you're going to jump together as the fool. Um, we got the ace of pentacles. So pentacles is like years. So I feel like one year, one year, I feel like you guys will be like solidly together. They could be going through a divorce right now, or you could be going through a divorce, getting your life balanced out. There's that queen of cups to go with the king of cups, guys. Um, I like this read. I really do like this read. I'm trying to think if I want to do message cards. Let's do the Hidden Truth Oracle. I didn't think this through. I don't have all of my cards out. But let's just get a couple of Hidden Truth messages from um, All Things Intuitive from your person to you. It says, I look for you everywhere. I knew exactly what I was doing. Mm -hmm. I kind of feel like your person, this is going to sound kind of crappy, but I kind of feel like your person, I want to be more than friends. Um, I kind of feel like your person had options and I feel like they were trying to kind of light a fire under you um, by juggling. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I feel like they were trying to, to get you to make a choice or get you to make a move or get you to do something. But I think... Mm, I don't know. I'm just going to leave that. I'm going to leave it. That's just like a thought I have. But um, sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. Let's get two more messages. I hid who I really am from you. And it was my fault, but I blamed you. Bottom of the deck, we will be together again. So I feel like this person uh, knows that they really screwed up. It was my fault, but I blame you. I feel like they um, were hiding who they really were. I feel like I feel like they were juggling you and somebody else. You may or may not have known. Part of me feels like some of you definitely knew that there was other people and your and your person was kind of trying to get you to commit or they were like almost test or walk away. They were almost like testing you to see if you were going to stick it out kind of. And you were like, you're going to be with somebody else. Well, good luck to you. And you moved away. I don't think it was. Um, I feel like it was done to try to get you to make a choice or make a move and, and it backfired on them. But um, I hid who I really was from you. And then I want to be more than friends. I knew exactly what I was doing. 
Um, sometimes I stay awake thinking about you when I look for you everywhere. And then we have, we will be together again. So I think this person's intentions, hey, it's Violet, everybody. Hi, say hi, Violet. <laughs> um, I think your person's intention is to um, come back around and to be with you. I do feel like they are super remorseful. Um, I feel like you're going to be good with the reconnection. So I guess if this is not resonating with you, then this is just not your read. But um, I do appreciate you guys so much for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Uh, and until next time, guys, take care.